Welcome, I'm doing this new thing, new video format, new video style, where I talk about me designing my fake mod, which are based off Warrior Cats, because I think that's cool. There's a lot of inspiration you can find in their names and their characters and everything that kind of are amazing to translate into Pokemon. I'm just taking inspiration from Warrior Cats and making them into Pokemon. I'm not making Warrior Cats into Pokemon because if they were Pokemon, if it was just Crowfeather as a Pokemon, he'd just be a cat. But you see, I'm making Pokemon inspired by them. So technically, they're not all going to be cats. So again, a lot of them are going to be cat inspired, but some are just going to be not cats. Um, Gray Stripes is actually not a cat. Gray Stripes is a squirrel. And I'm not showing you that one yet. Well, not on YouTube at least. It's on Twitter. Because I'm making episodes for each of these like evolution lines where I talk about the process of designing them and all my little thoughts on the design that I put into it. So huzzah! Anyways. Uh, yeah. So first off we have Rusty. I decided to start with the Rusty in the in the evolution line for Firestar because I think it's an interesting it would have been interesting and it was interesting to design a Pokemon based off Rusty with his collar and the symbolism of that shit. Not gonna lie, didn't think about it that much, but I can claim I did. <laughs> I can claim I did. Um so he's a little fluff ball and the typing is surprise, not fire. His typing is actually fairy type. Because he's a little kitty pet, he's a little silly stinky squimbly, and he's so cute, and I adore how he turned out. He has his little cheek markings that look like um, Pikachu's to copy his cuteness, but don't, they don't really do anything like Pikachu's ones, because Pikachu's ones are like sacks, which is actually kind of gross to think about, but whatever. He's super cute, he's a little guy, look at him. He's got His tail is just the same as Sylveon's tail. Because Sylveon is kind of the basis for fairy type mammal like Pokemon. And it's just a really charming like shape for a tail. Like there's something about it that's so cute. So I kept it throughout the entire the entire evolution line. But yeah, that's my little guy. He's so little and scrimbly and cutie. And his collar is not really a collar, but it's a part of him. Think of Buizel. Buizel has that um, whatever that thing is, like a floaty thing, that's actually a part of him. That's kind of what this one is too. Whereas, um, Floatzel's one was keeping him afloat, obviously. This one is just to store its fairy power, like quotation marks, fairy power. Um, Rusty's don't start out very powerful, but... Oh, so the shiny is a reference to, you guessed it, Princess! The brown pelt and the pink, uh, collar, quote-unquote. Uh, to remind you of Princess, because I think that's a cute nod um, with Shinies. I, I like putting thought, putting thought into the Shinies, it's just really neat and I love it when that happens. It's like when you make a, a Leaf Pokemon's Shiny look like Autumn Leaves. Oh, that's just gorgeous. So next we have his Fireball, the secondary stage. He's very tough looking. Looks a lot more con- uh, not con- looks a lot more edgy. <laughs> Looks a lot more intense, ready for battle. Uh, and that's on purpose, because I wanted it to show the personality change between Rusty and uh, Firepaw. Because Firepaw is at, at the point where, oh, he's he's feeling more adventurous. They're going to have a personality change as they evolve. Because that's the thing for Pokemon. Usually they uh, experience personality changes as they evolve. Because puberty. <laughs> but for Pokemon. So I wanted to show that in this guy. There's not much difference to him, technically, design-wise, compared to um, Rusty. His, his color is a bit more saturated and intense, I guess, to describe. He has a more glary look. Um, he's more sharp looking. He's got a little. He's got darker bits now. So now his ears and his feet are a darker red color, which, you know, is a good progression. Makes him look more mature, more detailed. The Pikachu patterning on his cheek, they're now cr crescents, which actually doesn't come up in the design again, but I think just looks cool, so I left it in. Even though technically I could have done something more with it in the end, but I do what I want. Uh, but yeah, I think he turned out really good. 
and I love the pose I mean I wanted him to look ready to fight he want he, want, he I wanted him to look like he's ready to go he wants to leave he's not in a stationary pose like uh, rusty he's just sitting there looking cute but no uh, fire is ready to do stuff right right and then lastly we have the actual evolutions people are people asked if firestar would be um, a mega evolution because technically with all the names uh, since Pokemon don't ever go past uh, technically three three stages with pre-evolution one, pre-evolution two, and then final evolution, but some Pokemon have two evolutions. Guess what? Like Pokemon like Bardevoir have two different evolutions. And hey, I did that for for Rusty because I feel like he's important enough to be able to have that privilege. So we have uh, two evolutions since the. The last two names are Fireheart and Firestar. I made two evolutions based on those names. So Fireheart is more cutesy, leans more into the leans more into the fairy type uh, typing. The way you evolve from a fire to the way you evolve from a fire to a fireheart is by leveling up with at least 220 happiness. It's the same um, it's actually the same evolution tech, uh, technique as evolving an Eevee into an Espeon, except for it doesn't require that they like, you just need your Pokemon to be happy. I think that's cute. I would have done friendship, but I kind of forgot that you could do that with friendship. And I didn't want to just rip off Sylveon's one, so I guess I'll rip off um, Espeon's one, because I guess Espeon's evolution way is less known. Nah, that's just my thought process. But yeah, it's pretty great. And then, and then my second evolution for this guy is Firestar. You'd think Firestar would be a mega evolution, but I, I, I just think it would be fun to have two evolutions that are equal instead of one like super complicated one. Because I don't trust myself to design a good mega evolution. Because mega evolutions have a lot of detail, a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, thought goes into that and I'd rather just have two good Pokemon that you can choose from because I think that's just it's really fun to have that choice when you're evolving a Pokemon it's just really neat uh, Firestar evolves from Firepaw at level 36 like a regular starter so technically Fireheart's kind of an extra add-on like oh if you know these requirements just do that technically you can risk leveling up and reaching and accidentally evolving into Fireheart instead of Firestar, which is um, rest in peace, I guess. Rip. Uh, that's that's an oof moment. But you know, I think they're both great Pokemon. I do and I do like Fireheart more. So I want to talk about their designs now. Fireheart has has a more flowy type feeling. Um, the motif is definitely those flowy little the two bits. I don't know how to explain it, but I really enjoy it. And fu and technically, um, technically Fireheart is not a fire type at all. It's fairy psychic because usually when a Pokemon evolves into two different evolutions, they have different typings, and it seems more natural for Firestar to have the fire fairy typing than Fireheart. So Fireheart has fire psychic typing. And I think it fits more into the pretty as uh, aesthetic. I like to think that um, they are they are used in Pokemon contests a lot more compared to Fire Star because they're just so pretty, and they have these really pretty awesome psychic powers that technically don't look that different from the Fire on Fire Star because I kind of forgot to make it look different. But hey, whatever. I don't need to justify myself to you. Well, I am, but it's just playing myself to myself. So Firestar is Fire Fairy and has fire coming from its main thing, which I tried to make look shaped like a star, but in the end I gave up and just made it look like that because it looked nice. Because technically there's no star in him, but <laughs> uh, take it or leave it. Fire Heart has flames, quote unquote. Well, they're not flames. I say they are psychic power, but technically they are flames. Like, that's how I designed it. I kind of just um, went back and said, Oh, wait, no, uh, it's not flames. It's it's not flames. This, I, I swear. 
So yeah, it's <laughs> that's totally on me, but I, I whatever. Initially, I drew them from I drew concepts for them before I drew the final pose and the final quote unquote official art. And I'm really happy with all of how all of them turned out. I can't get that Sugimori style exactly right, but hey, hey, I'm trying, and I think it looks good enough. So, huzzah! Pokemon! Um, recommend names to me, because I don't know what names to give them that aren't just the Warrior Cat names, because they don't fit the Pokemon vibe, and I need help with that. So please, do help me with that. Um, comment suggestions. I'll pick whatever I want to pick. I might even make my own. I'm just kind of curious what you guys think of as anyways too. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like leave your thoughts on the typing and the designs and everything. Like, cause I think most people are surprised by my choice of fairy, uh, fairy fire instead of starting off as fire alert. I just think fairy is cute. I want a fairy Pokemon starter. I want a, I want a main character. That's a fairy turn, and I'm like, no one can stop me. No one can stop me. But yeah, we.